Welcome back folks. Today we're going to show you a pretty cool technique and a very precise technique we have for getting your scope mounted and in perfect alignment with your bore. You need a few things for this. You need tape measure, you need an extra half a ring and we usually put a little tape on it to keep it from scratching your barrel. You need a raceway level and you need a flashlight. Some kind of uh, vice to put your gun in to hold it stationary so nothing moves while you're getting everything squared away. Little leveling devices are, are helpful and that's all you that's all you need to get started. Well so, you, you might just want uh, you know a torque set or two to you know to tighten everything down to the torque and yeah, everything. Yeah yeah some people do need tools as well so yep. that's why he's standing up here with me. All right so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this bolt out then I'm gonna hand Keith this raceway level Explain to them what you're doing there. So right now I'm taking the raceway level and I'm gonna slide it into the races that the bolt travels down. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at it from up here and see what it takes to get the raceway level. And what that's gonna do is put everything on a plane to where I mount the scope and follow that same, so I'm gonna follow that same plane to mount that scope up. And that's gonna get the crosshairs truly bisect. Perpendicular to that plane, that's right. Perpendicular to that plane, but bisecting that bore at, you know, at that right. uh, 90 degrees. I'm gonna we'll start with placing in the scope. And what we're gonna do with the scope is we're gonna take a measure and set up our eye relief. And we have a pre-measured on this stock and this scope. We've established it at 10 and a half inches. So that's where you're at basically, right? Yeah. So now at 10 and a half, I'm also going to take and adjust the diopter back out and that's going to make the, the, the light whenever it shines through there it's going to clear up that reticle on there. So we're going to take our little half a, half a ring here, we got a little tape on it so it's not going to scratch anything and we're going to put our flashlight up here. We put this front ring on, Key's going to get those started. Then we're going to cut our flashlight on. All right, go ahead and turn All right, it on. Now we got the light on. We see our crosshair is not quite where we need for it to be. So we're going to get it exactly on that or parallel to that line. Doesn't matter whichever way you can see the, the crosshair better. And then he's going to start cross tightening these screws, maintaining our equivalent gaps on both sides of these rings. All right. So the line now, the, the crosshair, the vertical crosshair is perpendicular to the bore by using that raceway guide. He's going to tighten these other screws down. We're going to tighten the backs up. The whole time we're going to let it stay on our, uh, on our graph there so we make sure it's vertical. And I'm still going to follow the staggering until I get these all the way put in. And you always want to follow the guidelines because if you over squeeze them, you are definitely going to crush the tube. That's right. These Hawkins, they, they recommend 25 inch pounds on the top. So that's what he's going to now. Do one last check just to make sure everything stayed the same. Looks square. Square, square, and square. We're good to go. So crosshair being exactly perpendicular, we've already talked about in the past how imperative it is to not cant your rifle. You got to start out with it perpendicular to begin with. And that's our downrange segment this week from Allen and Keith brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles.